What we really appreciate about uh, the uh, first house on the tour, designed by Douglas Pearson, is a very intelligent solution to a very challenging uh, uh, lot, to a very challenging position. The house is built on a small lot, which is partially occupied by uh, another little residence, and uh, which only left a small sliver of land, basically, for this new project. The architect decided to build um, a vertical house, which takes perfect advantage of uh, light and view as the house grows up. Uh, given the fact that the house is so small and limited in square footage, uh, the architect had to design most of his uh, furniture. This allows also the architect to create his own take on uh, the space that he's living in and uh, provides extremely attention to details. The second house on uh, the tour is designed by Santiago Ortiz. Santiago is a um, South American architect who moved to Los Angeles uh, a few years back. And uh, his house, uh, although it is inspired by the modernist tradition of Neutra and Schindler, reflects his uh, Latin origins and uh, it is also infused by um, Asian uh, um, design. Santiago traveled extensively in, uh, in Asia and brought back with him elements that he uh, installed in his house, in particular in uh, this very beautiful Japanese bathroom. The house takes advantage of the Los Angeles weather, plays with it, as uh, it has a, an incredible indoor-outdoor feeling uh, and a wonderful pool where I could just figure, you know, most people would like to spend a lazy Sunday afternoon. The third house on the tour is a project designed by Escher Gunewardina. Um, and uh, it has uh, the element of surprise that we always look for in a project that we put on the A. Los Angeles Home Tour series. In fact, the house uh, looks like a very contemporary, um, modernist-inspired uh, 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 place from the outside, from the street, and it opens up to a cave-like space uh, that leads to a um, window that frames uh, a very unusual view of Los Angeles. The fourth house on the tour is a project designed by Richard Seltzer, which perfectly embodies the spirit of California living. It's a, a lovely cul-de-sac house, um, California, contemporary California style. The house is extremely bright, um, it's extremely uh, livable, and uh, it provides a feeling of peace um, that makes you not really want to leave the house. The uh, fifth home of the tour is a project designed by Neil Denari and it's definitely the most surprising house uh, on this tour. Um, the outside of the house is a very uh, simple and modest uh, California ranch style house which is basically just a simple door, it's just a facade, it's almost like a set. The moment you step into the house you find yourself into like a, a loft-like space completely open and streamlined, uh, very, very, very contemporary and very minimal. It is a very special place because it's a, it is completely unexpected, it's a very daring design and uh, it's extremely comfortable at the same time. It's serene and private and peaceful and uh, it definitely goes with the style of the owners. I spoke extensively, extensively with the owner and uh, she basically said that she would not live in any other place at this point of her life. This is a perfect dwelling.